Welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about adding in a timer. Now, timers are super important in games. Now, if you think about this, uh, for for example, um, the the timer uh, is something that you see all the time in games. You know, whether it's spawning an enemy, or you know how many times you can shoot a projectile, or you know just kind of being able to do something like a you know three two one go in a racing game like timers are super important so how do we do that well let's go ahead let's add an event here and let's go into the system here and then we're going to type in every x seconds okay and if we just undo that here and we go to the time here right uh, we have compare time in every x seconds here so in this case um, and by the way you can see that um, the the interval seconds, specific time in seconds running between the actions. Uh, and the construct theme will actually tell you what everything is. So in this case, we're just going to add in a, an interval in seconds, and that's 1.0. Okay? And let's say every one second, if I, you know, drag this over here, um, you can see that every one second, it will add in an enemy somewhere. All right? That's pretty cool. There we go. Every one second. And by the way, you can change this to, you know, 0 0.2 seconds. All right? So that's every 0.2 seconds. It's just going to add in there. Okay? Very easy stuff. Timers are super important. Okay? So let's go ahead and let's add in, um, let's add in something that is incredibly important um, to understand uh, in game development. And so I've been talking and I've been saying the word functions again and again and again. And you might be thinking, well, what is really a function? Well, a function is basically a, a, a place where you can put your code. So let's add in our own custom function by right clicking and adding in a function. Now, I mentioned before in another video that you should always name your function what it's supposed to do. If you just name it function one, that is not specific enough. That could literally do everything. Um, and this is a problem all the way up to the pros. I have several friends that work at big video game companies, and they, you know, when it's crunch time, a lot of programmers don't even name their functions properly. Okay? So you should name your functions properly because if you want to get your game out there, you want. Yeah, you know, you want to make sure that your code is very readable. And if your code isn't readable, your project could fail. And it's happened to me, you know, a couple times as well. So let's name this function spawn enemy. All right, so the enemy here is going to be spawned. And what we need to do now is we need to call a function. So let's say we want to call the function on the start of layout. Well, we go to function. And we go to spawn enemy, and guess what? It's going to spawn enemy. If we just do this here, there we go. It spawns the enemy um, once, right? Now let's say I want to do this on the every tick. Well, guess what? It works. And every two seconds, well, guess what? It works. Now you might be thinking, well, why don't I just copy and paste this? into here. Well, the reason is, is that oftentimes when you look at functions and you're making a game and you, your game needs to be good, there might be 10 or 15 different items in this function and you don't want to copy and paste your code. Generally, you don't want to copy and paste anything uh, in uh, code or construct. So in this case, um, if I wanted to call this function here, Okay, create this enemy object in all three of these locations, it's one line of code. Now, if my function was, let's say, 15 lines of code, I would have to copy and paste those 15 lines of code for each one of these items here, right? For every place that I want to call it. This is a lot cleaner. So getting used to functions early on is something that's really, really awesome. All right? So that's how functions work. Functions are incredibly important, and it's good uh, to understand how they work. See you in the next video.